Good afternoon, guys. How are you all making it through your being quarantined, having to stay home? I'm trying to get my camera just to excuse me just a minute here. I would make it fine if I could get in my craft room without interruption. I have interruptions from every direction. Hubby's home. He's fixing some uh, lunch, so I'm sure there's going to be uh, in and out and noise, just like right now. Sir? Uh, the dogs interrupt, all kind of stuff. But anyway, I want to make a, I'm in a couple of Facebook groups and uh, craft groups. And today, since it was swap groups, well, we've held off on the swapping in one of the groups. Um, and I've held off on both groups. But um, in one of the groups, you know, the administrator asked that we hold off on swapping and that's the group the challenge is. So we're gonna make a journal out of envelopes and um, we'll keep it. We're not gonna swap it, we'll keep it ourselves, but we'll post a picture of it and then after all this is over and we can start swapping again, the administrator, she, I think she said she was gonna pick four people to win a prize. Um, it'll just be something from her stash, I'm sure. But there'll be four people that will get a um, a rack from this challenge. And so I'm going to get started on this. But first, hubby's in with lunch ready. So I'm going to go eat lunch and I will be back. Okay, guys. I am back. We've had lunch. I've cleaned up the kitchen. And now I'm back. Well, I say I cleaned the, I cleaned the table off. Oh, I hadn't washed the dishes yet. But I'm not feeling well. I've been sick the past few days. Uh, haven't been running a fever, so I don't think it's coronavirus. I uh, hadn't been hurting in my neck and all like they said you would do with coronavirus. Um, I think it's just a sinus infection. I get this every year, spring of the year, when the pollen gets bad. I think that's what it is. Okay, so, but I'm really not feeling good. All right, so let me see if I can remember where I was at. I think I was telling you that uh, I am in two Facebook groups. One of, uh, that's craft, actually I'm in more than that, but this one, this particular one is having a challenge for this weekend. And uh, like I said, we're not gonna be sending it off. We're not gonna swap. We're just gonna keep it ourselves. But she put up a video um, of a lady doing a tutorial on how to make a journal out of envelopes. Now, she used brand new uh, envelopes that's more, more the card shape, not the long ones like this. But I've been keeping um, the envelopes out of my junk mail and this one here. I think was, no, because it don't have the stamp. So it come out of the junk now. So I've been keeping, you know, how you'll have the, the envelopes that you send your bill back in or whatever. I've been keeping the envelopes out of that. So, because I've been working a lot with junk mail, making a junk journal. Um, so I decided to pull these out. So my journal is going to be more long and thin instead of just kind of the uh, average... Uh, envelope size so she um she only used three envelopes two of them were the exact same size the other one was a little smaller but shaped the same way but i'm going to use four envelopes and this envelope has that little extra piece that with the perforated place where you can tear it off 
I'm going to keep that on there. What I did was on this one to show you what I've done to make it work. This envelope uh, is a little bit wider. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Uh, maybe you can do it this way. See, it's a little bit wider than the other. All of these other envelopes is this size, but this one's a little bit wider. So what I've done, this one's the one with that little extra pay, piece of paper on it. What I've done is I folded it down where that paper would reach almost to the bottom of the envelope. And then I folded the flap over to make it to be the, the same size as these as far as wide is concerned. Now this one is a tad longer, just a tad longer than the others, but I'm gonna leave it that way. I'm gonna use it for one of the outside envelopes um, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two of my envelopes. So this is gonna be like my, uh, this is gonna be like my front cover here and this is gonna be my back cover. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the two flaps and since this flap's gonna be a little wider than this flap, I'm gonna put my glue on this flap here. So I'm just gonna use my ATG gun. Go around all the edges and then right down the middle Give it plenty of glue, and I went too far over there. It was almost back on the edge when I did that section. Okay, so now I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna put the two flaps together. Now see, this is where it's normally folded at. I'm folding it on over, so it will be the same size. Then I'm going to take this, and I'm just gonna put that flap down like that because the glue's on the outside. And now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna position this. And like I said, it's just a tad shorter than that other envelope, which I mean, you can barely tell it. But over here, it's just probably not even a quarter of an inch, probably an eighth of an inch shorter. Okay, so now I have my two flaps together. Now on hers, because it was, you know, she had the, the shorter, wider envelope, so it was bigger, but she only had this one flap in the middle. And then she took her smaller envelope and put it over here. So what I'm gonna do, these are the same size. I'm gonna take this one and I'm going to put the glue on the inside where this glue, you know, where you normally close it up. I'm just gonna take my glue along the edges and then right down the middle where it will have plenty of glue. And then I'm gonna take my envelope, I'm just gonna close it over where it looks like the front of the envelope on either side. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I have, you know, the, the bottom part of the envelope, and I'm gonna put it right here to the edge of this envelope where it folds to that, that flap where it folds. And lay it down. So now, the front of my journal looks like that. That's where the flap is. Okay, so that's gonna be the front of my journal. Now I'm gonna take the back of it and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put my glue on here, right around the edges, all edges, right down by the edge of the fold and right in the middle, okay. Now I'm gonna take, make sure I've got the back side. So that's the front side, that's the back side. So the bottom of the envelope goes right here on this flap. Okay. 
just like that. And there we go. Like that. Okay, so here's the front. Now, the different another difference of mine. What you doing, baby? My Macy girl's in here with me. Another difference of mine is having this little extra piece right here. So, she only had one extra piece. I'm going to have two because of this piece here. And, and I'll show you how we're going to do it. So, I'm going to show you the papers I'm going to use to decorate. Okay, I got this collection from the uh, scrapbook room. Um, I was in the club, uh, kit club, but I decided to cancel it because I just don't use enough to keep up a monthly club, and I'll just purchase as I need it. But this here is the cotton tail this is authentic how you say that I can't say that word right there um I'm seeing if it told the collection mm, I guess that's the collection I don't know this here is the punch out sheet it's called the elements sheet it's called Cotton Tails. I guess Cotton Tails is the collection. Maybe. I don't know. Authentique. I said it. Authentique. It's that name. <laughs> Authentique. Okay. So this here is my patterns. And that's one side. And that's the collection is calendar. This one is my patterns two-sided paper. Okay, this one here is April patterns. It's got umbrellas. Okay, let's turn these around. Oops, huh, that's weird. It's a different direction. April hath put a spirit of youth in everything. Huh. Okay, this is the Cottontail Collection. That's why it's uh, the strips on a different place. This is the Cottontail Collection. That was the um, Calendar Collection. The cutouts comes from the Cottontail Collection. Okay, so this here is the Cottontail Collection. It's six two-sided papers, that's what it is. And this one is called Cottontail Six. It's what it has the parentheses around, I mean the quotation marks around. Uh, let's see, this one is Cottontail Five. It has Peter Cottontail on it, and that's like a basket weave. I love this one. This here is probably going to be the front. That one or, I see, I think that's the one I decided on. Yeah. This one's going to be the front of my journal. This one here is Cottontail 4. That's the back side. This one here is Cottontail 3. Bunch of Peter Cottontail rabbits. This one is Cottontail 2 and Cottontail 1. Look at them carrots, all different colored carrots. Those are cute. Okay, so this is the collection that I'm going to use. And like I said, this here is going to be the front of my journal. And this may take a while, guys, but. If you can't watch it all in one setting, just watch a little bit of it and then close it out. Come back and finish it later. But I, I want to do it on video. Okay.
Okay, excuse the noise in the background. It's a cool day out there. Hubby's out there mowing the grass. Since he didn't have to work, he's mowing the grass. So. Okay, so my front panel is, I'm gonna measure it right here and see. Three and three fourths by eight and three fourths. Okay, so I need to cut this. I need to decide. See, my journal is going to be this way. So, which part of this paper do I want? I really wanted this right here. So, I'm thinking, um, okay, I can use that side for something else. Yeah, I'm going to cut this side for the front. Sorry, guys. Okay, what did I say? Three and three-fourths by eight and three-fourths. Okay. Okay. So it needs to be eight and three fourths this way, All right? I'm not gonna cut over here because when I cut this out, I want the whole rabbit. So I'm just gonna cut it right here. Then I'm gonna turn it around right here and do the three and a quarter. I mean, three and three quarters. Uh, okay, that's going to cut some of that off. How do I want to do that? Mm, do I want to cut some of him off or some of him off? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I'll cut some of him off. Let's go to, yeah, let's, let's do it right on that line right there. that little piece and then I have that full sheet there all right now let's turn it around here and see if I can get this positioned right at three and three quarters and how much of the rabbit uh, let's cut a little bit more off of this side over here I hate to cut his head and ears off I wanted that whole thing but my envelopes not big enough so we're going to do it like that. All right. Now, let's move this out of the way. Okay. Now, I think I am going to use uh, wet glue. So I will know that it's going to stay. That's cute. All right, let me get my glue out here. I'm going all around. Oh, he must be. It's going to get loud, guys. I probably won't try to talk right in while he's doing this right here because it's going to get loud. He's right here at the back door. Uh, doing the little dog yard here at the back door and when he gets through with that I'll start talking again just sit back and relax and watch okay maybe he didn't I thought I heard him opening the gate, but maybe not. He might have already done it. <coughs> and I didn't realize it. It might have been what all that racket was. And being right there at the backyard. Okay. Put that right down on the front side there. Now, I'm going to take my <coughs> bone folder and I'm just going to 
kind of burnish it down. Get any air bubbles out of it. And as you can see, some glue come out of it. So I'm gonna grab me some paper towel here. And we wanna make sure we don't have any glue where it's not supposed to be. I think that's gonna be so cute, guys. Look at there. Okay. Now, we're going to <coughs> let's go ahead and do a flap so I can show you how to do that because I may not do everything on camera since it's going to take a while let's see I'm going to show you how to do a flap um, I'm going to do this small one but I'm also going to do I'll be doing this one the same way um, so what I'm going to do is, again, I will cut it at, what was it, 8 and, it was 8 and, and 3 quarters. But before I cut it, I'm going to do this because I want it just, just a tad shorter than the, the two main flaps. So I'm putting it right at the fold right where it folds here and then I'm gonna come just probably an eighth of an inch away from the edge so it's that much not at the edge okay so what I'm gonna do is fold it right at that edge like so and I'm gonna put it right on that dot that I put there make sure my edges are straight and I'm gonna fold it Okay, now I'm going to take my my trimmer and I'm going to put this edge right at the cutting section so both sides will be the same length but I'm going to raise that up before I cut it. Now let me, I moved it, let me make sure I have it right, right there right there. Uh, I'm going to pull that one over just a tad. Like that. Okay. Lift that up. Now we're going to cut this right here. And then I have that left. And then we're going to cut this at eight and three quarters. Just leave it folded. Put it here at eight and three quarters. And see, you can do this for whatever size envelopes you use. You just have to modify your um, measurements. So I'm not going to be able to give you exact measurements because you'll be doing it according to the size of your envelope. Okay? So what I'm going to do here is I am going to... Put my wet glue right here on this flap, like this, if I can get it to go on there. Right along the edge. Okay, now I'm going to slip this right here, right on that fold. Just like that. Make sure I have the ends, the edges even there. Okay. And lay it down. Okay. Like that. Take my bone folder. Give it a good little burnish kind of out to the edge so if there's any glue that needs to seep out can go towards the edge where it makes sure that edge is down okay now see how it's just like maybe an eighth of an inch uh, not as wide as that outside envelope so that's one that's 
one of your pages there. So, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead on this side of the flap because we didn't put glue on that yet. And we're going to do it right like this. And I'm putting it all around the edge, on the edge here where it folds. And I'm going to put a strip just right here on this edge. And right here on this edge. Like that. Now we're going to take and fold it down. Take our bone folder. Come out. So the glue will come out towards the outside if it comes out which it did. Put, go out with it here and go towards the inside here. Get the air bubbles out. Now, make sure you don't have any glue that's going to glue down a part of your uh, paper or your envelopes where it's not supposed to be glued down. So here you have a, a pocket here. Okay, you're going to have a pocket here, not here, because, because I have this extra piece here is why there's not a pocket here. I'm going to have an extra sheet like this one here, and then I will have a pocket here, okay, and I have this page here. I'll open this up. I'll have a pocket here and a pocket here. But what I was going to show you is we're going to take this page we just glued down. We're going to take our trimmer. And we're going to put it where it's just barely where it will cut it. We don't want to cut a lot off of it. We just want it where it will just open up the two flaps. The, the inside. We just want it to open it up. So we're going to put very take very little off of it and that had a little hump in it. I don't know why it does that sometimes, but it does. So we're just going to take the scissors and go ahead and trim that right there. Now, now you have, if I cut it enough, yep, now you have an opening. Now it's not a real wide, oops, I needed to let that dry before I did that. It's not going to be a, a real wide opening because I didn't shorten my flap. If I would have took my flap, like here, if I would have trimmed my flap down to just like maybe a half an inch and then put, put it on there, that would have gave me more room inside. But it did give me enough room that I can just slip maybe like a, a small tag or something in there. Won't be very much. And a matter of fact, I may do it this way since it is such a narrow uh, pocket there. I'm going to glue about halfway up. She didn't do this part. I'm doing this part um, because I made, I didn't trim my flap, my, um, yeah, my flaps on my envelope. I didn't trim them down. Forgot to before I glued it. So, um, I'm just doing this extra because that's going to give me this, just this top part now is going to be open. It really is open, guys. See, it's going to be open like halfway down and I can take like a small tag or something, just some little thin something and stick in there and it can slip down in, in there and that will secure it to hold it in there. Okay, I'll show you when I get one made and stick it in there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera so the video won't be so long. I'm going to go ahead and cover up. Uh, oh, I wanted to show you this, though, before I do that. Um, you're going to want to take and where these pockets are, like this pocket here. 
This one you won't have to because it, it goes all the way to the opening. You know what? I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to cut my sheet of paper to go all the way to the opening and just leave it. She, what she done, what I was going to say, like this right here, she cut a little piece of paper to glue on the inside of here. And um, I'll have to get that off. So it will glue my paper to it. It's just when I, where I went kind of over the edge when I was putting the glue on. Um, I've got one of these glue erasers. I can get it off. I don't want to take up so much of y'all's time. But I'll finish getting that off after a while. <coughs> but I'm just going to cut my paper where it will go all the way to the edge like this one's going to do anyway because of it having that flap on that extra piece on it. It's not like a dip in. But she cut a piece to slip right inside there where you wouldn't see the inside of the envelope. It would be pattern paper you saw. So I'm just going to cut mine to fit uh, plush all the way with that opening, with that fold there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish doing all that. I showed you the basics of what you need to do to, to get it put together. When I get it all, the papers on it, I'll be back and show you what it looks like. All right, guys, let me show you what I've got done. First of all, I'm going to show you... Oh, you scared me, bed girl. <laughs> let me show you what papers I have left. Here are some end pieces that I cut off. Um, I have four of them that I'm not using. Five of them that I'm not using. So I got that. I got this partial of a sheet this partial of a sheet this partial of the sheet I have cut off of those uh, then I have these two full sheets that I didn't use at all so I have that then uh, naturally I have my cutouts punch out that I'm going to use for actually decorating my um, my planner this here is I had already cut these out these here are four by sixes that says happy Easter it was a full sheet but I cut cut them out that says happy Easter that one says hello spring and then that's a little boy and a little girl with a lamb. And then these two sheets are the April and May calendars. So I probably won't use any of these in this project because that's a little sh narrow um, envelopes that I use. So I'll put that aside to use with another project. So let me show you what I've done. This is the front, but before I go ahead and show you anything else, I'm going to show you these. Uh, I finished up the edges with using washi tape. I used a roll of green, and I used every bit that I had on that roll, but it was just enough. So it worked out just fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I did the ends of it. On the ones that was just a little narrow, that wasn't thick sheets, I just laid my tape down halfway where it's halfway sticking over and then I rolled it over to the other side but because this here is the outside and it's thicker what I did was I put a strip across the end like this and naturally y'all uh, washi tape don't stick real well and this washi tape may not even stay on here you don't even have to do the washi tape on the tutorial with the lady showing how she made her journal she did not do washi tape that was just something that I decided I wanted to do I was just crafting so I just pulled out washi tape and decided that's what I wanted to do 
So this was not in the original tutorial with, of the lady uh, when she done the her journal. So this was just my idea. So first off, I take one strip down like this. And then I make sure I roll it over and get it stuck. And that right there didn't work too well. But oh well, it'll just have to do. <laughs> I got it a little bit too far over on the other side. And then roll that over. Now, I'm going to take and I'm going to take another strip and I'm going to put it just lapping over where the edge of this will be at the edge of that. And it's lapping a little bit over the washi tape that's there. And bring it down all the way to the end and cut it and I like to burnish it down kind of roll that end over okay now this is on the back side again right to the edge of the book overlapping a little bit the washi tape that's there on the end to me I felt like it just kind of made the book look more finished the ends up the corners edges of it and all just kind of made it look more finished to have the washi tape on it but like I said you do not have to do the washi tape that's just something I decided to do. Okay, burnish that down. Now, I like to check the ends and make sure there's no washi tape hanging over. If they are, just kind of clip it a little bit. Get that extra washi tape over. And like I said, this may not even, with opening and closing it, and taking stuff in and out of it and all, it may not even stay. The washi tape may end up coming off. And if it does, that's fine with me. Because that was just an added thing I put on there. So I'm not going to put it around the edges here. So now, this is my finished. Okay, I'm going to throw that away. Put my bone folder up. Put my scissors up. I'll put my washi tape up in a little bit. So, this here is the front, and I'm going to do your flip through and show you what I've done to my complete uh, journal. And um, then we'll see what we'll do. I may not uh, decorate it, embellish it in this video. Uh, I may just do that along as I add things to it. That way I will know what I want to put where, when I want to put it. Uh, I'm not sure right now, uh, unless I was to put this, let's see what this would look like, if I can get it off of here, this is like a little tag, you can't really see it, can you? Okay, well, how about this one then? Let's see what this one would look like. Hmm, let's see, let's see. You know what? I think I'm going to put them just like that to decorate the front. But I'm thinking I'm going to pop dot them up. Alright, let me go ahead and show you the inside. Alright, you open it up. And you have these two pages you can decorate. 
you open this flap up, you have these two pages, then you have a little pull out right here. And see that washi tape, like I said, if it don't stay, it's no problem. I don't mind. I just thought it might make it look more finished. Then this here is not a pocket on this side. That was that, um, let me think. Okay, this was that, that wide, um, extra strip that was on that extra envelope, that envelope. So there's not a pocket there, it's just a page. But there is a pocket here, and I have a pullout right here that you can add photos or journaling or whatever you want to add to it. Goes right there. Okay, there's not a pocket on that side because there's one on that side. This here is where that little bitty pocket was. That didn't work out too well. I should have trimmed off the top of the, the flaps of the envelope further down to give me more room here. Uh, I tried gluing that together where it would have a tuck place. So I do have this little folded tag thing in there that you could write some journaling on or whatever, but that didn't work too well there. Okay, but then you have this side, and as you can see, this washi tape's not want to stay. But you have these two pages. You open this flap up. You have these. Okay, I have a couple of inserts in here that you can add things to. And then on this one right here is an insert that you can add some journaling to or some photos. Okay, so that folds back over and then this folds back over this way. Okay, that's the way it looks on the inside when it's folded over. And there's the back. Okay, and I think that turned out really cute. Now, I do want to go ahead and I will decorate the front. And I'm going to pop these up on pop dots. Just to give it a little dimension. Now, the base of this journal was made out of junk mail envelope. You know, your, your envelopes they have inside your mail when they send you bills and stuff, and they send you an envelope to send it back. That, those extra envelopes is what I used to make my journal. And then you can use whatever collection you want to make it what kind of journal you want it to be okay and while I'm doing this I'm gonna go ahead and tell you I have a Facebook group it's not a page it's a group um, it's not Etsy it's Facebook and um, I fixed it up some of you may already have subscribed uh, joined the group um, because I sent a lot of you, or maybe, yeah, I sent a lot of you that's, um, uh, my Facebook friends, I've sent you an invitation to join the group, and what the group is for is, um, I'm not, like, in a business, like, stamping up or anything like that, but I do have the group to... For, well, for one thing, for us to, you, everybody, anybody that wants to, anybody that's in the group can post your projects that you do, photos of your projects, and just have some interaction and, um, you know, just be able to communicate with other people. And it's also for me to sell my handmade items. Um, I will be showing handmade items. I already have a couple up now um, that I already had made. I put photos of 
of them up. So go check that out. And as I make other items, I will post them in there for you to purchase if you would like to purchase them. And um, I'm thinking this journal is going to go in there for purchase if anybody would be interested in purchasing it. Um, just to, uh, you know, just to help me keep my addiction of crafting <laughs> uh, supported where I can continue crafting. And so, plus, I don't have room to keep all this stuff I make. I enjoy making it, but then I don't have room to keep it. And I use some of it, but I'm not able to use all of it. So if I could sell some of it to you, then that would give me a little money to purchase more craft items to make more things. And it will give you things you can purchase. So, that is the gist of it. I decided not to go with like a... Uh, Etsy or eBay page. I've tried that. I don't sell enough to um, to support it, you know, to, to pay for it. So I thought if I just did like a Facebook page, then it wouldn't be charging me uh, to have it, you know, to put items up to sell. And um, if I sold them, great. If I didn't, great, you know, be fine too. But uh, would, I would have the opportunity to put it up in case someone would want to purchase something. So, like I said, I'm not going to decorate the inside. Uh, I'm going to wait until I get ready to do, like, whatever I'm going to put, photos or journaling or whatever I'm going to put, so I know what I want to add to it. I have banners and hearts and uh, little looks like little stamps and different little things I can use for embellishments but like I said I'll wait until I um, well if I I'm probably gonna just go ahead and put it up but what I'll do is as I put it up to sale I will punch these out to go with it for embellishments but I won't embellish it myself I'll just have it in a you know on the side as embellishment excuse me, as embellishments that you could embellish as you uh, worked in your journal. So I will have it up, up as one price, the embellishments and the journal together as one price. So there we go. I think it turned out really cute. Um, I will be making some more and I'll be making them with different sizes. Uh, envelopes. I think it turned out real cute. I'll be using different uh, collections so that, you know, they won't all be Easter. It'd be all different kinds. Be some just for general and stuff like that. Just neutral or whatever. But, I uh, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and putting up with me today with my sickness, my hoarseness, and all the interruptions and the noise. I really appreciate you stopping by, and like I said, I will put the link to my Facebook group um, if you're on Facebook and would like to go check that out, feel free to do so, and uh, just ask for, you know, ask to join, and um, anyway, thank you so much for stopping by, and I will talk with you all later.